Taiwan conducted anti-landing drills along the Ilan coast on Wednesday, rehearsing a potential Chinese invasion. Three amphibious assault vehicles and a Zhonghe-class tank landing ship were deployed at two locations. Military enthusiasts lined the shores to capture them in action. According to a defense analyst, the military has ramped up drills at seven to eight vulnerable beaches along the east coast. It's also reinforced the deployment of missiles to form a stronger defensive net. The camera captures three AAV-7s as they launch from a warship, then head toward the coast for an anti-landing exercise. The AAV-7s rush out of the sea and arrive on shore one by one. The sight of them storming the beach draws a throng of shutterbugs. The second combat zone extends from Yilan's Jitakan and Zhangwei Township all the way to Taidong's Zhiben. These are known as Red Beaches. This is a key area where the military is reinforcing its anti-landing operations, troop deployment and firepower. Starting this month, the military will ramp up drills at seven to eight so-called red beaches where the PLA could land. The scholar says that besides strengthening anti-landing drills in the second combat zones, the military has also reinforced its missile deployment. The second combat zone has been reinforced in recent years. There are long-range anti-aircraft missiles and long-range anti-ship missiles that can perform counter-strikes on vessels attempting to land. They form a network of defensive firepower that can prevent China from invading Taiwan. With tensions high across the strait, the military is proactively preparing for all possible actions by Beijing.